we're going to go over three examples of taking the derivative of an arcsine function where the chain rule is required. In each example, inside the arcsine will be a function, so we'll have to use the chain rule. And in the third example, we'll also have the arcsine itself in a function. In this third example, the arcsine function is being squared, and again, inside we have another function. So this should be some good practice. Please do give these examples a try yourself before watching the solutions. With that said, let's get into it, beginning with our first one, we want to find Find the derivative of arcsine of x cubed. Of course, at this point, we want to know what the derivative of arcsine of x is, and I've written the formulas up here for us. For a simple derivative of arcsine of x, that is 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. But if the input in arcsine is not just x, but is instead itself a function, say u, so we have arcsine of some function u, then you just apply the chain rule. So it's very similar. Then we would have 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared, that input function, and then we would need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function with respect to x. So multiply by du dx. In this example, of course, our inside function is x cubed. Let's go ahead and apply this this formula to take the derivative of arcsine when we have a function inside of it. We begin with the standard derivative of arcsine, 1 over square root of 1 minus the input squared, but in this case the input is x cubed, so it's 1 minus x cubed squared. Then we simply have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, so the derivative of x cubed. That is, of course, 3x squared. And then if we wanted to, we could rewrite this derivative as 3x squared divided by the square root of 1 minus x to the sixth. All right, moving on to our second example. We want to find the derivative of arcsine of e to the 2x e to the 2x is the input, the inside function. Give this one a try. Again, we begin with the standard derivative of arcsine of a thing. So that's 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus the thing squared minus the square of the thing in the arcsine function. So minus e to the 2x squared. And then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is e to the 2x, so this is going to require an additional chain rule. If we take the derivative of e to the 2x, well, the derivative of e to a thing is just e to the thing, so that's e to the 2x. But in this case, the thing is itself a function. It's e to the 2x. So we also need to multiply by the derivative of that function. The derivative of 2x is just 2. And then we could rewrite this derivative as 2e to the x divided by the square root of 1 minus e to the 4x. All right, moving on to the most difficult final example. The derivative of arcsine squared of tangent of 4x. In the previous examples, the outermost layer was the arc sine function. In this case, the outermost layer is the squaring function, a thing squared. We all know the derivative of x squared is 2x, so that's pretty much what we've got going on here. The derivative of a thing squared is just 2 times the thing. In this case, the thing is arc sine of tangent of 4x because it's arc sine of tangent of 4x which was being squared. So we have 2 times arc sine of tangent of 4x and then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, the thing that was being squared. That's this. We need to multiply by its derivative. So now we just need to find the derivative of this guy, which is more similar to the previous problems. We again begin with our standard derivative of arcsine. So that's 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus the input squared. The input is tangent of 4x, so it's square root of 1 minus tangent of 4x squared. But again, in this case, the input is itself a function. So again, we need the chain rule. We need to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. 
The inside function is tangent of 4x. The derivative of tangent is just secant squared. So we have secant squared of 4x. But again, the inside function, 4x, uh, it is a function. We've got a function inside of this thing, so we also need to multiply by its derivative, so we just have to throw on an additional factor of 4. I'm kind of running out of room, so let me throw that factor of 4 over here. We'll make that a 4, and that is our derivative. One more time, let's just go through all the layers of the chain rule here. The outermost function was a thing squared. The derivative of a thing squared is just 2 times the thing, so we have 2 times the thing that was being squared. But that thing is a function. It's arc sine of tangent of 4x. So we have to take the derivative of arc sine. That gave us 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus the input squared. But the input, again, was itself a function. The input was tangent of 4x. So we multiply by its derivative. The uh, derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we have secant squared of the input. But the input was 4x. It was a function. So again, we have to multiply by the derivative of this inside function. That derivative is 4, which is why we have a 4 over here instead of a 1. And that's the derivative. Hopefully these few examples of differentiating arc sine with some chain rules was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or video requests. Thank you.